The Ohio House of Representatives has passed a bill that would replace the Youngstown plan, created four years ago to try and help the academic problems in the Youngstown City Schools. I told you about the vote yesterday on First News at 5. It still needs approval from the Senate and the governor before anything changes. But First News anchor Stan Boney investigated the issue today. Well, the vote in the House was 83 to 12. It wasn't even close. The replacement for what was HB 70 is now known as HB 154, and it will get rid of all current academic distress commissions, including the one for Youngstown, and return control of school systems in academic emergency, like Youngstown's, back to the locally elected school boards. Now, while returning control of the schools to the local boards is certainly the most significant part of the bill, another is that state intervention will now take place on failed report cards of individual buildings and not entire school districts. School buildings would have to be low performing for three straight years. It would require a community learning center model to be implemented and some type of commission would be put in place to oversee the improvement of each building. Youngstown School Board President Brenda Kimball had this reaction. I love it. I do. It's a really good house bill. Everything in it has to do with schools in poverty, our urban school districts to help us move forward very quickly. Are you okay with looking at a system building by building rather than system by system? It's better that way because we have different challenges in every building and this way we can work on those separately. Kimball also suggested the Academic Distress Commission, currently overseeing the Youngstown schools, hold off hiring a new CEO until we see all how all of this plays out. The State Board of Education pays the CEO salary, but if the commission and the CEO are eliminated, she wants the board to hire its own superintendent. Now the bill now heads to the Senate, where not everyone agrees the House plan is the way to go. Senator Peggy Lehner of the Dayton area chairs the Education Committee, and she told the Akron Beacon Journal the House bill, quote, basically turns the solution back to people who haven't been able to solve it up to now. If they had the answers, they would have already tried it. This debate is not over yet. Live in the studio, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.